I would just want people to remember Jake as the amazing father that he was. And he was so funny. And he lit up every room that he was in. And he would do anything for anybody. Shattered. That grieving girlfriend loses the love of her life to illegal street racing. Good evening, everyone. I'm Rory Johnston. And I'm Vicki Yates. Yesterday, we shared with you the story of Jake Barnhart. Metro police say he was an innocent bystander hit by a driver who was going more than 100 miles per hour on Clarksville Pike. And now concerned citizens are calling for a crackdown. Yeah, they want more to be done before another life is lost. News Channel 5's Alexander Cohen talked with them about a potential street racing task force. Enough is enough. Jeff Sexton is fighting for a crackdown on street racing. He's been in talks with lawmakers and law enforcement. We're going to have to have jail time. We're going to have to have felonies. We're going to have to have a state driven task force for street racers, much like we do a drug task force. And now he's ramping up his efforts after veteran Jake Barnhart was killed Monday. In this case, we have a young man going innocently to pick up his children. And thank God he didn't have his children in the car. And now his children are left without a family. And it's tough. It's tough. Police say Jake was hit by a driver speeding on Clarksville Pike. Patrick Ewan was arrested, and officers are still looking for the other driver he was caught on video racing against. Jeff fears it could be his family next. Yes. Absolutely. State Representative Mike Sparks says it hits close to home. I've got a son that's 34. It just, it's just heartbreaking of what some knucklehead done that's going to cost that family the rest of their life. He's on board with voting for funding for a statewide task force to combat street racing. Let's fund law enforcement. He plans to bring up Jake's death on the House floor at the Capitol. Meanwhile, Jeff is going to keep fighting for change. We have a street racer that knowingly gets behind the vehicle and creates a weapon. And these weapons are nothing more than killers. We are seeing the consequences of the victims. Reporting in Nashville, Alexander Cohen, News Channel 5.